Hello guys, today I'm going to show you my SQL on command line and um, before we can do that we need to make sure that we have the my SQL installed our, in our systems and uh, uh, you may either install ZAM and ZAM normally contain Apache server and uh, my SQL and also when you install this ZAM on your system we need to set the system variable so we we have to go to cmd and uh, this is my cmd and here you can see i have a cmd users and i'm um, using this name for uh, testing purposes so uh, if i type my sql type you get this error my sql is not recognized as an internal or external command uh, so uh, what you have to do we need to set the system variable and uh, and uh, before you do you set the system variable you must have the the zam or my sql installed in your system so if we check on a c drive on my ZAM uh, you see my SQL folder and I have the bean folder here and uh, on the bean folder I need to set the system variable so to get to the system variable you need to go to uh, I'm using actually I'm using the Windows 8 system machine and uh, uh, you right click then yeah actually you right click on this window um, yeah, the Microsoft window here and then you go to system or you find other ways of getting to this system here and uh, you get to assist uh, advanced system settings it's quite easy from Windows 7 or Vista or Windows 10 you just have to search for advanced system uh, system settings and uh, you click on advanced uh, advanced system settings and here you have system properties and on our system properties you have you go to advanced and advanced you go to environment environment variables click on that and here is where we have to set the system variables for the mysql and uh, uh, what we have to do here uh, I'll show you for example you see uh, if you have run you have uh, you have run Java on your system you also must have the system variable for that Java uh, JDK so here I have Java home and also and this is where the JDK is installed the program files that uh, uh, Java and JDK this version so we are going to do exactly the same thing so we have to um, uh, to write new and here we give the name uh, with capital letters mysql home it depends on whatever you want to add whether you can you can give any name depends on your interest but I'm going to put the mysql home here and we go back to uh, where you install the my uh, mysql which is ZAM. Uh, in my case it's on my C drive ZAM and my SQL then B folder then you right click or you copy this directory and this one yes and you copy and you paste it over here so th it is it shows that the my SQL home and the var variable value is installed on this directory so I say ok and now we have to do one more thing here we need to go to path and you edit and here you can see we have um, we have to set the MySQL home here slash bin just like the way you see Java if you a bit here you see 
a java home so we have to add also exact the same thing yeah like this for our my a square uh, for my a square home so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, type two percentage and inside our percentage i'm going to uh, write my my sql home then uh, backslash bin bin so then you add uh, you can see here actually this bin have to be outside of this percentage so um, um, this yeah this how it should be percentage mysql home percentage bin then semicolon you must add semicolon then you click ok and here it's ok and also ok and now we close this we close this and we open the the we can close this command prompt at this moment and we start it again cmd and now when i type my sql i still don't get in so let's see what went wrong here because it doesn't seem to work for me now so we have to go back to the system variable then um, you go to a environment variable and we check for the, the MySQL home so uh, this is wrong my sql home so i think we made a mistake or yeah because this is wrong so we have to go back to um, exam my sql and you copy this and uh, You paste here and uh, okay and then okay I think I made a mistake instead of yeah there there were more than uh, directories here and I copied this by mistake I was supposed to copy this one so that was my my bad so now let's try again start again my uh, cmd and then my sql okay now we are getting this error can connect to the mysql server on localhost and this is probably because maybe the server is down so we have to start the server my square and uh, when I do it that again my SQL then we got in so that was the problem so thank you guys and next tutorial we're going to learn how to um, to run uh, my SQL on command line bye bye